When Roblox blocked Wine support in their client earlier this year, Linux gamers were disappointed in what felt like Linux gaming taking a few steps back. As desktop Linux continues to grow in market share, more gamers of all ages are disappointed that they are not able to play all of their games on the Tux. And it's not because Linux was incapable of running those games, but rather developers purposefully blocking support through through anti-cheat solutions. For the past four to five months, Linux gamers were not able to indulge in the Lego-like sandboxes that we all come to know and love on their favorite OS, forcing them to either use virtual machines or dual boot their computers. Well, that is until today. The wonderful folks at Vinegar HQ, the people responsible for developing a previous wine-based solution have managed to do it again. You can now finally play on your Linux Libre booted laptop. No virtual machines, no dual booting, but most importantly, no wine is needed. Wait, what? How is that possible? Well, it's all thanks to how Roblox runs on your smartphone. Okay, well, this is an iPhone, uh, so not these devices particularly, but I'm talking about the other particular kind of smartphone, Android devices. The new compatibility app is called Sober, named after the fact that it takes a different approach to running Roblox on Linux. They pull it off by taking advantage of an operating system that is well supported by Roblox, Android. It's genius because Android under the hood runs on the Linux kernel. Since we are Linux gamers, we've already won half the battle. All we have to do is try and recreate a containerized environment that resembles Android on top of our kernel. Once we can get a convincing enough implementation, we could just simply take the Android version of Roblox and run it inside the environment as if it were a native app. Despite what the website claims, this isn't a completely novel concept. This method has been used to get Minecraft Bedrock Edition to run on Linux. While Minecraft Java Edition can easily run natively, Bedrock Edition can only run on Windows. Or so we thought. We could just simply recreate the Android environment on Linux and run Minecraft Pocket Edition. You do need to own Minecraft Pocket Edition on the Google Play Store to fully play it, but this method could allow you to run any Android app. And that's what programs like WayDroid are meant to accomplish, a sort of Linux subsystem for Android. While Linux, at the time of recording this, has a measly 4% of desktop market share, Android, on the other hand, completely dominates the mobile operating system market at around 71%. This is why, despite Android being quite fragmented among many smartphone manufacturers, Roblox invests their time and resources to ensure that their client can run on them. So, unlike Wine support, Android support is not going away anytime soon. When I first heard of Sober, I was completely skeptical of how this would be a complete replacement for their previous wine-based solution. When I tried running Minecraft Bedrock Edition on Linux, the experience is quite similar to Bedrock on Windows, but it took a lot of frustration to get there. This is partially Mojang's fault for downgrading some of Bedrock's capabilities for Pocket Edition. I mean, a lot of my gripes I've had before were addressed, but I still had to fix weird mouse movement issues, fix a lot of unusual key binds, and the only way I could play with my friends is through Realms, which fortunately my friend had. The big issue I ran into was that the game runs under X Wayland, which introduced issues such as being needlessly spammed with Windows and insane stuttering. The main root of this issue is with the SDL library, which is introducing Wayland support by default in their upcoming 
upcoming third version. I have no idea why the maintainer vendored in the SDL3 library is still decided to downgrade it, but to get the game running on Wayland, I had to compile the game launcher with an additional flag that uses SDL version 3, and I had to unset Xorg's display variable in the launcher settings to get the game running on native Wayland. And I want to give a huge shout out to the guy who actually helped me figure this out. I honestly couldn't have done it without him, and I think people who give support to technical issues are highly undervalued. So be sure to at least give these guys a thank you next time you have a technical issue because it really does go a long way. I was worried that Roblox was going to make similar compromises to their engine when deploying it to Android devices. Well, there's only one way to find out. The only way you can get sober at this moment is by downloading a flat pack, which you could do so by going onto their website and downloading the file, or by simply running this following command in your terminal. Flat packs are great because they are sandboxed, so they cannot creep into your system unless you give them permission to. But most importantly, they can be installed on Atomic's Linux distributions if they have Flatpak installed, that is. When I made my tutorials playing Roblox on Linux, I had people compiled a forked wine with a few patches to ensure minimal overhead, maximum performance, and better stability. But since we no longer need wine, that means we don't have to do any of that. But that doesn't mean that running Roblox on Linux will be a cakewalk. Sober is only the runtime environment. We need to supply it with an APK bundle of the Roblox Android app. Since I don't want to risk breaking YouTube's terms of service, I can't exactly tell you where to install an APK. But I will tell you what you need to look for. Uh, I'm actually going to adjust the camera a little bit because I kind of don't like this location. Unfortunately, any Roblox APK won't do the trick, as Sober requires that the APK bundle contains instructions in the x86 architecture. Nearly all smartphones run with a CPU that uses the ARM architecture. ARM's main advantage over x86 is better power efficiency, making it ubiquitous with handheld devices. So when you're looking for an APK, you need to make sure that you aren't downloading an APK bundle that is only suited for ARM, as Sober will reject it and will ask you to find another APK that's compatible. As of recently, Roblox has been shipping their Android app to run on multiple architectures, including x86. Since this is all packaged in one bundle, you need to find one that runs on a universal architecture. And you want to make sure that your bundle is on the latest version of Roblox, as Roblox may lock you out if it's not up to date. Anyways, now that you have a Roblox APK that you got legitimately... There are two APK files that we need to feed Sober to get Roblox up and running. The first one is a main APK file, which has all the core components. The second is a config APK, which includes configurations that will make the app run on our desired architecture. Open up the bundle with a compatible archiving program to find the two APKs we're looking for. There will be multiple config APKs, but the one that you want to extract should have x86 in the file name. Once you have your two files extracted, start sober and find where you extracted your files. If you aren't able to access the location of your files, you may either want to place them in your downloads folder, or you'll have to use an app called Flat Seal to grant sober access to the folder that contains your files. Once you have both your main and config APK selected, you should be good to go and it will launch the Roblox app. Once you're on the sign-in screen, go ahead and sign into your Roblox account as per usual. If your Roblox account has two-factor authentication set up, you may run into a bug when trying to use the standard method of logging in where you'll be stuck on the loading screen indefinitely. In that case, you will need to use the login with another device method so that you'll be able to successfully sign in. 
I noticed that when I tried to use the standard method, I noticed the input delay for text was atrocious, taking multiple seconds for my input to show up on the screen. But after finally logging in, I was able to get into the Roblox app and start joining experiences. First thing I noticed when I entered a Roblox experience was that when looking around with the camera, the camera pans insanely fast. I mitigated this by going to the settings to lower the camera sensitivity. I also found that playing in full screen also helped with the issue. You may need to play around with this setting a bit to find what works best for you. But one thing I do notice is that when I do encounter mild to moderate lag, the camera sensitivity all of a sudden increases and I ended up turning way faster than I expected. If you instead decide to play Roblox with a controller, you will have a flawless experience. With my controller, I was able to play on normal sensitivity and I did not come across any acceleration issues. Another small detail I noticed was that text was slightly blurrier, but let's keep in mind that I use fractional scaling as I have two 4K monitors. Usually, when you see blurry text on fractional scaling, that's usually a giveaway that the app is using X Wayland, as XORG's fractional scaling doesn't translate well to Wayland. However, it seems like Sober is actually running natively on Wayland, as my good old X eyes did not seem to follow my cursor when I was on the client. Sober is still experimental software. It has several bugs you may come across as this software may not work for everyone. Another big downside is that unlike the previous Wine-based solution, Sober is not open source. Thanks to the security features of Flatpak and the reputation of the developers, I was willing to trust Sober enough to give it a shot, but I did log in with an alternate account for safe measures. Considering that desktop Linux embraces and prefers open source software, I thought this was something that I needed to mention. They do say on their website that this could change in the future, but whether you want to install or use the program right now is completely up to you. My original worries that I had for Roblox compromising their Android app were finally answered. Getting past the first few minutes of configuration, Roblox's Android app doesn't hold back on any PC features. I was able to use the keyboard and mouse just like a PC with no compromises. I could easily type text without latency issues. I was able to plug in my Xbox controller and it worked flawlessly. And to put Sober's performance up to the test, I cranked up my graphics settings to the max and visited a few experiences that would normally lag when I ran Roblox through Wine. For example, I went to this house slide game where oftentimes I would run into big lag spikes on Wine. But running this through Sober, I had almost no lag at all, and I had to go out of my way to barely notice any. While I do think that the claim that Sober can run up to twice as fast as a native Windows client needs a bit more testing, I can say that Sober performs a lot better in my experience compared to running Roblox through my patched and optimized wine. Another important thing is that you don't necessarily need to use the app to launch games, as Sober will let you launch games from the browser. But I did occasionally run into the very weird bug on a Roblox experience that kind of broke my immersion a little bit. But I imagine if Sober continues development, these are issues that will happen very rarely and we could have a more polished experience. Roblox's Android app is in fact so good that unless you know exactly where to look, running Roblox on Sober is practically indistinguishable from a native Windows client. My last worry is that because Roblox patched their client to make Wine incompatible, we do not know whether Roblox will eventually go out of their way to block this method as well. The main reason why Roblox decided to block Wine in the first place is because Roblox's anti-cheat solution, Bifron, couldn't run as effectively under Wine. 
bad actors took advantage of this by developing exploits tailored for wine that would otherwise be caught by the anti-cheat. When Roblox caught wind of this, they decided to pull the plug. I have a worry that history is going to repeat itself if Roblox can't find a way to run their anti-cheat on Sober. So it's important that we cherish the product while it is still around and allows for us Linux gamers to play with everybody else. This is Game Webcam, and take care.